on silent, Mark? Going on silent, brilliant. Go on then, Hi, Chris. Hi. You've had a few days to reflect on Monday night. So what has your approach been this week? Has it been a few tough words in the dressing room or is it a arm around the shoulders to try and rebuild the confidence? It's a balance of, of, of both, really. So, um, you know, we can't bury the players. We've got, obviously, um, a lot of games coming up. Um, it was, yet again, as what's happened over, the, you know, the last couple of home games as well, it's a really disappointing performance stroke stroke results so we have to own that and, um, and 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 live with that so it's a bit of both really Tim defensively obviously conceding too many goals but you are you are and have been without a core of Premier League experience in the back line all, all season so how do you go about stopping the flow of goals against well you need to obviously to give yourselves an opportunity um, in in the game and we have done that you know, in in certain games, not being all, all season like it has been, but there has been obviously a lot of the games where it's quickly gone. You know, from one to two to three, and even some cases to four, which is incredibly disappointing. I think if you look back from from a personal point of view, and how we how we set teams up as well. You know, um, especially when you're coming into into this division um, and, uh, and 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 playing your football at, at, at the ice level against. Against the likes of what we saw on on, on Monday night, and I've got to say, um, and it's, I'm not trying to deflect anything from from the team on on, on Monday because the performance um, and the manner of the goals were unacceptable, um, and, um, and 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 quite a lot of things. You know, you, you look at it and going, this is not we want. This is not what we want it to look like. So ultimately, I take that that responsibility. But the levels that we are playing at and, and what Arsenal were were at the other other night, do we make it easy for them? Well, yeah, in, in terms of the goals, um, I've got to say it was an outstanding performance from their point of view as well. But, of course, stopping the goals is is, um, is key to get a foothold in the game and, and for us to try and get something from game. So, we have been it incredibly um, harshly in terms of the injuries, as we always talk about, you know, the likes of Baldock, um, Basham, Egan... Robinson's been out the team and Nell's been out the team. Uh, we go to we go to Luton and get a fabulous, you know, uh, performance and result. And I think you talk about what we want it to look like, what I want it to look like. You know, you look at that as a as a as a blueprint, going to a, a really difficult place to go and get a result that a lot of teams have struggled, and we go and, and win there and, and and put on a. A, a performance, especially from a defensive point of view, that was that was excellent um, and gave us that opportunity of going and winning a the game. Then you come away from that game and you lose Max Lowe for the season, you lose Reese Norrington Davies for the season. So, I think there's got to be a touch of sympathy in there in terms of, you know, um, the stability, the consistency uh, that we've that we've that we've not had, which. You know, every team needs, but certainly promoted teams need if they um, if they want to be hard to beat. But there's still certain stuff in there, and it's not just it's not just the back four and the back five. And I think if you look at a couple of you know two or three of the goals on uh, on Monday night, there's players there not not track runners. There's players there not putting in putting in tackles where they should put tackles in. So there's certainly you know a lot to, a lot to work on in a short period of time. The last two. Away performances, you just touched on it there, have been good though against Luton and in defeat at Wolves. So, do you have to try and use that and try and take some confidence and belief from that? Yeah, you can. You can. You 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 have to you have to bring those those aspects up, but we have to be realistic as well. And like we said, you know, take that responsibility of, of what happened on Monday night. So. Um, yeah, it's a bit of both. I believe that we we can produce those performances which you've just talked about, and even you know. Uh, the Villa away one was 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 one which was a real discipline performance, and, uh, and 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 of course, yeah, we talk about from our point of view, giving the ball up, you know, um, and um, and being maybe more of a counter-attacking team. Um, I think you know, the, well, the majority of promoted teams will will go from playing in the Championship where they dominate the ball, and then going into the Premier League where it's where it's um, where it's the, the complete opposite, but. As you said, we have to we have to show so many more qualities that I expect, uh, and and most importantly, our our supporters expect um, when we're when we're doing the basic 
uh, elements of playing football, which is winning races, winning tackles, winning headers, keeping your shape, um, and then taking that responsibility and taking that ball when you when you uh, when you when you have that uh, have that opportunity. Thanks, Chris. Cheers. Cheers. Chris, on, on Monday you, you referenced some of the, the players being a little bit broken, a little bit damaged. What, what's their reaction been this week since since the game and in training? I just feel that I mean, you can't you can't feel sorry for yourself being a professional footballer. So it's you know it's it's uh, of course yeah you know part of, part of my job is to is to motivate the players. I've I've said this consistently. Especially when I've been at Sheffield United, I can you know not not be motivated to to be a professional footballer and to play for this football club. So, you know, it's a it's a difficult time for everybody. We like we talked about personally and from the supporters' point of view, we all love the football club and 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 everybody connected to it is not enjoying this period of of our recent history um, season this season. Um, so. We can't we can't enjoy it. We can't be jumping through hoops, you know. And if you talk about the mood in the camp, yeah, of course it's going to be sombre, you know. Um, what do you think it's going to be like if you're winning every every other week in the championship? It's going to be buoyant and it's going to be upbeat because that's what football does to you, you know. It it, it tests your resolve, it tests you psychologically, uh, and it tests you right the way through your career. It's tested me through my my playing career um, and. Um, and, and and for my, myself, more importantly, my managerial career right the way through. Um, and I don't want to go too deep into that, but you either go one way or the other. You 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 come out. You come out of it through this period because it won't last forever. It won't last forever from the players' point of view. It certainly won't last forever from my point of view as a manager. And it won't from the football club's point of view. And you know there'll be things happening between now and the end of the season and and going forward that. We'll have better days and brighter days, but you have to you have to dig in and you have to sh stick your hand up and you have to show that you're you're, you're up for the fight and and show all those qualities that you have to um, show uh, to be a professional football and to be a professional football at the highest level because that's what what they're doing they're playing professional football at the highest level um, in 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 Europe and some might may say in world football. You've seen a lot. Clearly, over the course of your, your career, there's not much in football you haven't seen. Is this as, as big a test as you've ever had, personally, in trying to you know get the players back up and get them to be competitive between now and the end of the season? Yeah, it is. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, and so, you know, um, I, 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 my coaching staff have to be at our best as well. It's a difficult gig. It's a tough gig at the moment. I think everybody understands that, realises that. I live in the city. You know, there'll be there'll be people that will be sympathetic for for, for around the situation at, at, at the moment, and there'll be people that are critical. And I, I understand both aspects of that. Um, but we have to be our best when we we come in every day. Um, we have to be positive. We have to be on the front foot. We have to recognise the issues and problems that we've got, and we have to do our best to try and solve them with the help of the players as well. And um, and 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 that's the key. You know, I've never asked for for the supporters' help. Um, I never will do. It's up to us to to fire them up. And as I said after the game to you, Adam, I think that the supporters have been outstanding. I think they're making the shirt incredibly light for the players. So you know, our part of the bargain is to take that take that on board and and and, and run with it. And um, you know, um, we've got we've got games coming up that we feel that we can we can change the mood and and the attitude of everybody. And we only do that with the performance that we that we put in. Have you thought more this week about the approach for the rest of the season? Because when we spoke on Monday, you spoke about maybe giving a bit more minutes to you know some of the younger players. You know, maybe looking at the players that are going to be around more longer term. Are they still things that you think are going to be key for the next? Yeah, they few could. Months? They, they, they could be. I don't want selfish players. I don't want victims. And there will be. There'll be players, you know, I'm not playing, it's my fault. I don't think any one of the players at the moment can consistently put their hand up and say, I deserve to be in the team. Possibly Robbo, I would say, at the moment. Um, outside of that, I don't think there's, there's there's many players that can say that consistently they've they've played to their maximum level and been, you know, seven and eight out of ten over over the over this period. So there's been an incredible inconsistency. In our performances individually and as a team, so we have to we have to pick a side. Um, what feel is right, what feel is right for the next game, 
from a tactical point of view, from an approach point of view. We can get it right. We did at Luton. We, we, we came close at Wolves. Uh, we did at Villa. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've done it in my time here and we've done it in, in, in the previous period before me. So they can do it and we have to. We have to show, show that. Um, in in, um, in in our attitude and, and performance, but going back to that, if I if if I've, if I've got to say, if I feel that people uh, are really not with us or, or not up for up for that between now and the end of the season, then you know that will that will come into play in terms of when I'm naming naming the side. And if I do feel the likes of Blaster and Brooks and the other other young kids that you know we've we've got involved in us. Um, deserve that start, then then um, that will be shown in that team selection. I mean, it just showed it on Monday, didn't it, when George Baldock came on. You know, you could see a, a different attitude for him, a different application, the way he was talking to different people. And I know it will frustrate you, the characters that you've lost this year, but that is a, a key element into the mix, isn't it, at the minute, people like that? It is, it is playing at this level. It is playing for this football club. I, I believe it's a unique one. You need characters like that around you. Uh, and with your culture carriers um, that will that will that will that will pull you through in tough times because as I said you know every every everything's a, a challenge whether it's to get out of the get out of the leagues that we've got out in the past whether it's to get out of the championship last year um, and whether to you know go up, go again in the in the Premier League the huge huge challenges whether the challenges of expectancy that you rise to and you deal with. Or the challenges to adversity, which we're definitely having at, at, at the moment. So, you know, the likes of George, of course, and we've talked about it. So that goes in, in into everything. You know, um, I think I talked to you uh, in the past about you know how many how many leaders, how many characters. Listen, you've got to do a lot of things to be a professional footballer. Well, te te technically, tactically, physically, you've got to be up, up for up for the the pace and the intensity. But as I as as I've said, you know, uh, attitude before ability, one hundred percent attitude before ability, um, you know, and and that has to comes first. So the mentality of the individual and the mentality of the group has shown previously what can be achieved at Sheffield United, and I'll get that right. Don't worry, I'll get that right, um, and we'll we'll do what we need to do. It is difficult at the moment because you know maybe you have to change your approach and your attitude towards a few things maybe soften because we need everybody between now and the end of the season um, but you know as I said this period won't last forever um, but we have to you know in the short term show what we're all about and uh, and the likes of George carrying us through he has done historically and he will do going forward is, uh, is, is, is something that I certainly can rely on is the club any any closer to, to kind of agreeing any new deals with people like George who are out of contract to the end of the season, or is that now going to come more in the summer? I think, think there's more important things, Adam, to, to 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 get right. I think the biggest thing that you know we we tried to do was was to was to make sure that it, it, in the window we brought a couple in, which we did. You know, Mason not being available has, has been a blow as well. So that's self-inflicted. So there's no excuse there. Ben obviously he's been a, a big miss for us, but he'll he'll be back for for the, for the weekend. There was an opportunity I could have done put him on the pitch on 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 Monday night, but we felt that you know three or four days training or whatever will make him in in even better shape for the for the weekend. So he's back in he's back involved, um, and 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 getting the young boy signed up onto on longer term contracts, which was key for the future of the football club. Um, and 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 in that that. I think the older players understand that at the moment, you know, and 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 I suppose they'll be weighing their options up as well, you know. There's um, there's, there's, there's there's some players that everybody talks about that will automatically re-sign. I'm not so sure that or certain that you know they might have other things in the in the pipeline going into going into the summer. So we've put all that on hold. Um, I don't think it's the right time to t be talking about improved contracts and new contracts. And um, and he said down and on to that next game. You touched on a little bit of fitness there. Is is there anyone else back for this weekend, or is it a similar squad? Yeah, it's a similar squad. We've got a couple that yet again have have come out of the Arsenal game not in great shape as well. So yet again we're fighting that battle as well. Thoughts on on Bournemouth? Clearly, they're a club over the last five, six, seven years that that have booked the trend and managed to to stay up a little bit. Thoughts on them and the test you face? 
yeah, I mean, outstanding work from 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 Eddie uh, in in that period, but went down, you know, and went down and and um, and had to come back up, which they did under obviously Scott and had a fantastic season, um, uh, you know, um, so um, and then survived last year through uh, you know a, a good a good finish. Uh, they were in a decent position, but they're, they're yeah they're they're a good club, they're a solid club and. They've got a talent, a lot, a lot of talent in the in the team, um, a lot of talent from from when when Eddie was there and and um, and what they did and managed to keep a few and add a few. So yeah, I mean, obviously the game at, at Bramall Lane wasn't wasn't a good one from from our point of view. Um, so you know their position is is, is earned in the Premier League and uh, as I should imagine, if they were watching on Monday night, you know. Um, they will be expecting a pretty, pretty straightforward, comfortable home win. So you know that's that's the things that you know um, that people will be saying, and we have to we have to accept that, um, and we, we have to do our best to to uh, uh, to make sure that that as it, that isn't the um, that isn't the situation, and that isn't the um, the way it goes on, on on Saturday afternoon. One thing that always happens in football, you always get an opportunity to put right. I don't like the yo-yo side of it. I really don't. <clears throat> I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy, um, you know, uh, the um, how, how can I say the inconsistency. I don't enjoy not really knowing what I'm going to get out of the group at the moment. Um, and we have to do something about that. If we knew that we'd get in, you know, six or seven out of ten between now and the end of the season, I'd be absolutely delighted. But as you said, it's been, you know. A few and far between, sort of seven and eights, and a lot of below that score. So, you know, that's uh, that's something that you know any club that wants to survive or any club that wants to win games of football at any level has to produce. And um, and obviously, that's got to be something that we need to we need to address. Just a couple of further bits from me. News just before the press conference that Paul Mitchell has, has left the club by mutual consent. Your your reaction to that? Clearly, somebody that's been at the club for a long time that you've worked with for a long time. Yeah, well, I brought him into the football club as as as, as I did with a couple of others that you know the likes of Jack and and obviously Paul previously. So um, yeah, I mean, listen, he's 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 he's, he's been a fab fabulous servant to, to 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 the football club and and been here a long time and played a major part in. And a lot of the good things have happened over over the last seven or eight years. So, wish him all the best. Um, and um, you know, as I said, um, you know he's um, he's he's you know when you know I think people talk a lot about you know sort of some of the major signings that we've made, and obviously you know changed our approach to um, to the transfer market as we became a, a Premier League player and. You know, even now you look at the likes of you know Gus and and, and Finney and people like that, the numbers that we we pay for them. But I think that when when you look back, that, that when we set the ball rolling, and I know Flecky was at the game on on on, on Monday night, and you, and you see sort of the 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 service that those players gave for the for the for minimal amount that we paid for players in those days, uh, and even we didn't play anything for certain certain amount of players as well. Their service to the to the football club in the, in the six or seven years, you know, Paul was um, was front and centre of that. So um, you know, we thank him for his efforts. Given the rebuild that's that's going to have to happen, whatever happens in the summer, is now not a bad time to have a bit of a fresh start and a rethink. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. You know, obviously we've got to refresh that department and um, and and improve it as well. It, it, you know, it's getting more and more important. So, in terms of building that department up, having a, having a refresh. Um, and, and, and going again, you know, um, it's um, you know the, the the timing, the timing of that might be um, might be beneficial for all. Cheers, Chris. Top Cheers, Thank you. Hi, Chris. Hey, uh, what's the last What's the last few days been like for you personally? Because uh, you know everyone knows you're a Blades fan as well as the manager. Has been a lot of sort of agonising, soul searching. Yeah, you better ask the missus. So. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah, it's. Let's say we're not, we're not, we're not just brushing it to one side. You know, you have to. You have to look back at your your, your personal experiences you've had, your life experiences, and your personal experiences you've had as a as a as a, as a footballer right the way through from when you started, where your career took you, and and where you, where it's where it's happened. And I think you know one of the things that you know, and and the majority of you guys do in in this room is. 
you know, sort of my background and whatever, you know. So, you know, it's not all been easy. So we've all had to overcome different things. But in life, everybody has to overcome different periods and different, you know, difficulties in in life and how and how they how they get on with them and how they approach them. So it's important that I come here and 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 be positive on the front foot, which which I always will be. I always think there's, a, there's the next opportunity is an opportunity to put right what what went wrong on on Monday night, even though. You know, still talk about sort of the, the, the over a thousand games I've managed, uh, and I'm not saying that was one of the best performances that I've, I've managed in terms of the team that I've managed, and from me as well included. Um, uh, but you know, from from Arsenal's point of view and their and their performance, it was it was an outstanding one, albeit made made pretty simple and easy um, by by us in terms of the way we went about the game, which was really disappointing. So you know that stings. It stings without without a shadow of a doubt because that represents me. It represents the supporters and the football club, and we all have to we all have to feel that pain. And certainly, I do. Um, I'm not being you know. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. Nobody will do. Nobody will do internally or or around the football club, and and definitely externally. You know the narrative. What what has been said. And um, while I don't. I'm not on social media. I'm 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 not daft, and I know possibly what he's getting said regarding uh, the team, the football club, and personally. So that's the arena that you're in when you're in that Premier League arena. You always you always want to be part of it. You want to be part of it from a player, from a club point of view, from a manager point of view. But you know the downside to it when you don't get it right. So you have to own that. And and as I said, you know to the players, everybody's really you know. Uh, uh, Everybody's really keen to accept praise and and good things said about them, and we all we all like that. We all want that to be a case because if that's the case, then we're doing things right and we're successful. But in equal measure, we all have to accept the other part of uh, the bargain when uh, when things aren't going right. So, yeah, it has been difficult. I've not enjoyed. I don't enjoy it. I've not enjoyed it. But one thing that it does do internally and personally, and I've made you. Really dig in and, and show and, and try and show what you're about personally, and hopefully that that'll get um, that'll impact on the on the uh, on the players and the team. And as well as sort of pointing the players in the direction of the performances at Luton and uh, and at Wolves, do, do, do you maybe evoke memories of that that day on the south coast, for the opening day when you, you went there and Billy got the goal? And yeah, it was a massive it was a massive turning point because. Uh, you know, I think we remember one of their players saying saying before you, or at half time to one of our players as we walked off, like you've not got enough this year. You're gonna you're gonna struggle. So, you know, um, I won't mention the the player's name, but I think you showed there. You know, first half was the down there was um, welcome to the Premier League and the players that they've got there and, and had, um, and and the second half was a was that. Battling Sheffield United performance that we've all come to love and and and, and uh, expect, and that's what we need to get back to. Embargo stuff. Cheers, Dave. Hi, Chris.